So uh, 3D Maker Pro just released the uh, Gaussian splatting uh, yesterday, so I want to try it out. Okay, I'm gonna dim the brightness quite bright out here. Click on save. I'm going to uh, adjust the scan setting to uh, medium and part cloud density. I like small and low density. Start the scan. Click on save. I'm going to do a small uh, circular uh, scan around this, the front of my house. And I don't think that uh, Gaussian splatting will do uh, uh, slam algorithm. It will probably lie uh, on the IMU sensor. You see a number here, minus one. Uh, that's your tracking performance. So I will slowly walk in circle. Okay, there are two ways that you can export the 3D scan file from the Eco. Uh, my favorite method is to use the SSD drive, but you can also uh, turn on Wi-Fi like this, and it will act like a hotspot. You find this network, Playzoom G100, and you connect your computer Wi-Fi to this uh, network and use the password uh, 1234567 and then you can transmit the files from the scanner directly to your computer but I find that it's connect with only 2.4 gigahertz so it's quite uh, slow well, my choice is still uh, using the fast uh, SSD drive so I will just plug in the drive click on here, scan, export Okay, this is the latest version of the Late Studio 1.0.3. I click on Open Projects. Uh, we have a three tabs, Basic Data. Uh, this one will apply SLAM algorithm and you get uh, a monochrome a point cloud, but with a, a higher accuracy because it use a SLAM algorithm to correct the alert from the IMU. Uh, next tab will be Colorize. This one will input the color, uh, I think just from the front camera to the point clouds. Uh, this process does not uh, contain SLAM algorithm, uh, i show you. Okay, this is the scene that I make a 3D scan in one round, a few, a few hundred meters. And the line that you see is part of my head because I didn't use the filter to filter out uh, the part of my head, so it's a uh, so you can see my trajectory <laughs> very clear. And uh, this is my starting point, right? And th the point cloud that I opened was processed by using the uh, basic data with the point cloud solving. And this will uh, contain a uh, SLAM algorithm to correct the alert, which I show you uh, later. And I also make a 3D scan uh, with the color when I process with the, with the color lines. I don't get the trajectory. I think it's only used the IMU uh, from the scanner to stitch the uh, scan together. If you look here, you can see it why. If you look at the wall uh, from the SLAM algorithm, you see here, all the walls is parallel, see here. But with the color, with the color, see? The wall from the color lines process it's shifting about 10 centimeters. See here, the correct dimension you will get from this basic data process. But for colorize, I think you can only use it for presentation. And if you want to use it for reversing in CAD for dimension, uh, I do not recommend it. We have a new menu here called Gaussian splatting. Uh, you can colorize without uh, going through the basic data. It separates 
uh, algorithm between point cloud solving and colorize. And for Gaussian spatting also, it's a separate algorithm. I choose high quality. And the GPU, I have a RTX 4090, 24 gigs of RAM. So I choose 16. You see a little green dot here. It's a model of the CPU and the GPU that I have, uh, 4900K for the CPU and RTX 4090 for the GPU and the memory is 32 gigs. So it's showing in a yellow color. Uh, from now on, it will go into a three step quite long. Okay, I s will come back when it's done. Okay, we come to uh, this process. It use all the cores uh, on the CPU. So if you have a multi-core CPU, I think it will run faster. Uh, same as the uh, when you colorize it, it use a multi-core. But when you do uh, just a point cloud resolve, it will use just a few core of the CPU. And after this step, it will switch back to using the GPU for Gaussian splatting. So uh, I highly recommend that have a good cooling system for your CPU because it's going to be a, a really long rendering time. Uh, you should have a, a radiator. Okay, here's the part where it used 100% uh, of the GPU. Uh, Gaussian training uh, process. Okay, uh, Gaussian splatting process has finished. I had to switch to high speed. Uh, for some reason, it throw me an early message. So I switched to high speed and it completes all the process. I think it's because my setting that I set the point cloud density to low instead of the default value medium. Doesn't matter, I already I went back and redo the scan. We are going to review that with the high quality later. And this is high speed process. Uh, what you get here is this uh, preview window. It's just an image. And if you look into the folders, you see that they have a lay Gaussian folder. You have a lay point cloud dot bin files and lay image. You can't use any of this file to open it in other software. I have already tried with the cloud compare. It's take a really long time to open. Uh, but you can view your Gaussian spreading result within this uh, Ray Studio. Uh, to do that, you see this uh, little three dots here. You click on that three dot, uh, click on preview. You can export this, but it will be a point cloud in a PLY format, uh, not a real Gaussian spreading result. When click on the preview, say loading okay and then you come to uh, enter pitch uh, you can use WASD uh, to move like when you're playing the games uh, Q and E for uh, uh, raising and lowering the viewing angle and you can also use your mouse to turn I don't think I can go any further because I didn't walk that far. I'm uh, going away from the point where the scanner is, so I need to move back. As I move back, uh, the image quality will be better. Because I scanned this just in front of my house, so if I get closer, so the image is better. I think this is where I walk. Let's try Q and W. Uh, that's the height of the camera. Q and W. All right, uh, let's review with the high quality. Uh, this time I walk further, like the end of the block here. Okay, uh, here's the result of the Gaussian splatting with the high quality image. I click on here, click on preview. Okay, I click on enter. I think the image quality for high speed and High quality is about the same. Yeah, I cannot read the text here. So uh, this time I walk quite far. Mm, I can still see the noise on the side let's see if I hold shift key it will uh, run faster
Uh, the processing time is about the same uh, for both. I make a U-turn here, so I didn't go this uh, direction. So the direction that I didn't go, it will uh, have a black color like this. So here is your Gaussian splatting. Uh, the movement is uh, smooth, but uh, I set the correct uh, brightness of the camera before I start the uh, 3D scanning. It's better than the colorized point cloud for sure. If you want to do a presentation with this. Okay, left, light, front, back, up, down, up. Can I go up? How high can I go? Now I'm going to the cloud, stratosphere, right? So you can't you can't go beyond the point where the point cloud is detected. So if I want to go about this high, I'm going to look down like this, like a drone. Okay, here's a drone. Uh, at the top of the car is not scanned, right? So the image information is missing. Okay. Let's try drone move. This is my trajectory. You can click on the image and it will uh, bring you to that point. It gives the best result in the position where your uh, scanner is. Uh, here's my first review of the Gaussian spreading. With the basic data, you have a point cloud solving and point cloud filtering will erase a part of your body, like your head, because it's going to be in the scan. And point cloud thinning also help uh, filtering. The thickness of the point cloud. So I choose this process and click on uh, start. With this version, it's the same as the previous version, except that you have an indicator uh, for your hardware. And I come click on start. Okay, here's the 3D scan result with the uh, SLAM algorithm. If I turn off the point cloud, and you can see the trajectory, uh, this will be my start and end point. It's very really close together. See here? So I close the loop. I walk in the loop and it closed and it's uh, correct the data for me. And there's some new function with the uh, 1.0.3. If I turn on the transparency, see here, it's uh, much easier to view with the transparency. Okay, let's try uh, default background, blue, sky, blue. Mm, I like black color. Next, let's try with the Colorize. Colorize does not implement SLAM algorithm. After this, I will compare uh, these two point cloud together and you will see that with the Colorize one, uh, the dimension is different from the one with the SLAM algorithm. Well, when shading with Colorize, it will use all of the CPU cores. Okay, here's the Colorize point cloud with a transparent view. If I turn off transparent, we will like this. If I turn on, it will look much better. Okay, the point cloud looks uh, very clean. All right, let's compare these uh, two point clouds together. So I do this in cow compare. I'm going to drop in the SLAM algorithm scan here, first one, and I'm not going to move it. Uh, let's change the color to a bright green color. I'm not going to change the position. So now with the, with the filter applied, it's quite clean. The point cloud is very clean. This uh, block of the house is uh, 5 meter away. It is quite accurate because there is a, a land pin in front of the I will measure uh, distance between these two. Okay, this point to this point. Okay, you see here 5.013. 
So the distance is uh, quite correct. Uh, let's try uh, three blocks. Uh, three blocks should lead uh, 15 meters, right? One, two, and three. Third blocks here. And I click on the point clouds here. Yeah, 15.016. So it's uh, about 16 millimeters. Uh, earlier. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, colorized point cloud. So the color color is in the shading folders. Uh, it's a PCD file. So I just drag and drop it here. See the it's overlapping. See here, uh, the color point cloud doesn't align with the slam point cloud. It's move uh, I think about three centimeters. See here, it doesn't match. The columns here it is not aligned. See here, the color one we give you a long uh, reading. See the car, the, the car point cloud when I overlapped it, uh, it's quite different in the position of the point cloud here. So it's uh, the color one would be, uh, would be uh, okay for a presentation, but uh, I don't think that you uh, should be uh, using it for a survey result because there is no um, a slam algorithm uh, applied to it. Uh, between the colorized point cloud and uh, Gaussian splatting. The colorized point cloud uh, can process faster and you can view it uh, with the um, a cloud compare. I think the colorized point cloud is, is quite okay like for a presentation. All right, uh, my next uh, tutorial will be uh, making a 3D scan uh, but indoor scan in a very uh, narrow corridor and a smaller room. Uh, this is very difficult to uh, scan and requires some technique that you can uh, scan it with a very small drifting. Uh, I think I can release the video next week. Okay, thanks you guys uh, for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.